Airlines have been interested in RFID for many, many years. Starting way back in the 90s, the late 90s, there were trials. And we continue to look at RFID quite seriously through till 2007. At that time, it was too expensive and seen as being a niche solution. However, we went out and we solved baggage mishandling by a huge number of different ways until the rate of baggage mishandling has dropped by about 75%. We can see now that that rate of mishandling is leveling out. There are no more easy reductions. So it's time to make a step change in baggage. And what we're looking at again is RFID. Now part of this has come about because of resolution 753. This says that airlines have to track bags at certain key points on the journey. And if you think tracking, the next thing that enters your mind is RFID, because this is a very logical technology to look at. So the airlines became interested again. And in our last annual general meeting, the Board of Governors have asked us to provide a global development plan for the use of RFID, and we have just a short amount of time to do that. It is anticipated that come June, the airlines will issue an AGM resolution, which sets the direction for the industry and says all baggage labels that are manufactured for use by airlines should contain an RFID inlay. And this is of course a huge, a huge step for the industry because there are four and a half billion bags moved a year and if each one of those contains RFID, first of all, we'll be able to track them much better. And secondly, that should reduce our mishandling rate. But the most important thing from this is consistency. It's consistency of data, and we don't have that today. We don't have with human operations where we're scanning with handheld scanners and scanning barcodes. We don't have good consistency of data. And this improved data will supply information to our operations and allow us to do a much better job of offering personalized services to passengers so that their bags can be handled easily. Mm -hmm.